Unfortunately for the first part of this session, the recording of it is no longer available. However, the party encountered what appeared to be Yuan Ti and managed to defeat them quickly while in the city of Oma. After that, they continued forward where they ran into an old man trapped under a pile of rubble. They saved him and he introduced himself as one of the wondrous Shadow Mantle's companions hired for her expedition into the city of Oma. Yes, he tells you the legend about all the animals, the nine trickster gods, and how they all tried to play tricks on Ubtau to get the rain back. So the, and the animals are a Zorbo, an Almiraj, a Gamadan, a Grung, an Eblis, a Frog Hemoth, a Sioux Monster, a Jakuli, and a Flail Snail. So it's like the Frog Hemoth's the one we haven't seen. Because I'm pretty sure you've seen the Sioux Monster. Mm-hmm. That's like the, the monkey? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm positive. Let's yep, you've seen the Jakuli. Yep, the Jakuli the... is the snake. Mm-hmm. Yep. We have not seen the Grung and the The Grung. You haven't seen a Grung? Yeah, we have. Yeah, That's so hand out Grungs. You gotta hand out the Grungs. The tiny frog. Yeah, you've met a Grung before. You got one in one of your traps. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, frog. Uh, Yes, that is the legend. And he explains that it does seem to have some bearing in the way they built their city and the magic that is infused throughout all of their artifacts. Hmm. Nonetheless, it is getting late. We should probably call it a night. That's like an... You don't have all your NPCs to keep watch anymore, though... Hildgard will gladly take one. I was going to say, we can also have um, Harmony pull out the animals as extra. In that is very true. Does, in case something does come out, we'll have a little bit extra, you know. She had a giant elk, a badger, and a giant badger. Yeah, that's what she had the first day. I guess it is. They last the entire day. Yeah. They would They would still be out. Yeah. So yes, there is a badger, a giant badger, and a giant elk with the party walk into the bar (laughs) in a jungle these animals do not like they are not tropical animals they are temperate they hate it here don't worry guys I do too I don't think the badger really gives a fuck that much I will take uh, first watch (laughs) I can take take, third I'll take fourth with Hilda alright well First watch. Perception. Oh, I mean, things seem pretty quiet. You don't notice anything out of place. Okay. Well, I will, uh, once my watch is over, I'll wake up second watch. You also find your watch to be quite peaceful. You sit with your animals, though they do slowly fade away as the clock moves forward and the new day starts, even if the new dawn has not. Nonetheless, nothing happens. And with the final watch, you are greeted with nothing more than the rising of the sun. Uh, I'm gonna fight it. Behave yourself. I should get up. Shall get up and... uh, Give everybody their bug repellent. Which was I at? 13, no, 9. I ask uh, the old guy if he has any. had any bug repellent on him or if he had any. I don't know, I guess he doesn't have anything really. No, he has nothing but the clothes on his back. I shall give him a thing of bug repellent. What, he yeah. thanks you. And where do you go from here? Well, I think we should, uh, well, do you know where your companions were searching? The entire city! Do you know any specific areas? Yes. But for the most part, they were trying to explore the shrines. 
How hot is it today, Joe? That is a good question. <laughs> I'm just like looking at the gif I sent him, like, that's probably what it feels like. <laughs> the badger and them are gone. It is unseasonably cool <laughs> being in the mid 60s. The, humi the humidity is normal. However, as the morning rises, you don't really see the sun because a torrential downpour happens. Uh. So, where does the party go? Your movement is halved because of the downpour. I guess we start heading towards potential temples. So, where are you going? I'm gonna ask him if he knows where the temples are that his comrades were looking. Two of them, which is why we chose this as our compound. He points to the east. That building over there, as well as there's another one behind the compound. Well, let's start with this one to the east. That was a coliseum. God, you know, it, actually getting closer to that might be worse just because of the love with all the steam. It's a sauna. It's like a sauna in here. Well, a ruined shrine stands at the heart of this walled compound. Tall monoliths flank the entrance, decorated with images of a jaguar with six snakes sprouting from its shoulders. A stone door is set into the shrine beyond. You're fairly certain that this is a shrine to the Kamadon trickster god. The one that uh, you were spoken of, Shagambi. Oh, ah, let's get going. I'll slowly start walking into the compound area towards the door. Shield and staff at the ready. Ah, oh, dang it. No, not what I wanted. Ah, stop. <laughs> Yeah, it's so dark. <laughs> oh, there we are. There. <laughs> you taking the lead? I was gonna say yes. I was, I was taking the lead up there. Apparently not anymore. At the floor. Yeah. Or actually, <laughs> let me double check. Yeah. <clears throat> God, I just can't do good on initiative. Shadow scale, you have initiative. Remember, while you're outside, moving is halved. Aim for me too. <laughs> yeah, for everyone. Well, and as far as I can go then. And Ushada? Yes, sir. I guess I could have dashed, but I really don't want to enter a building dashing. Professor? <laughs> That's me. Bird? Oh, God, it's just your parks rate. Correct. I guess I'll stay where I am. I'll be there. Build yard will at least move up. Zandala? Let's see. Well, just go there, I guess. And he will. Uh, move up. Igris. Igris. Harmony. That's it. Shadow scale. Roll perception here. As you get inside, the sound of the storm is lightened a bit. So, upon entering. Uh, steps descend into a 15-foot-high, moss-covered room. Four statues of Omuan warriors stand in alcoves to either side, overlooking a barred gladiatorial pit in the floor. Each statue looks like it was meant to hold a spear, but its weapon is missing. On the far side of the chamber, a stone pedestal stands conspicuously bare. A relief on the wall behind it shows a monstrous jaguar with six snakes protruding from its shoulders, fighting off a squat, frog-like humanoid armed with a spear. To the left of the relief is a narrow tunnel with stairs leading down. So a commandant and a grung. Mm-hmm. Statues are missing their spears. And the grung stole the spears. So you're glad the gladiator pit right below me. Alright, as far as I go. And Ushada? Professor? I am going to inspect this statue. 
protect them. I mean, it's a statue. No, I mean, it doesn't seem to be anything special about the statue. Third. Let's see. Old guard will just move inside. And I'll dash to get in. Uh, Igris, you're the only one who's still able to notice, just barely. But you realize that Ordovix doesn't follow completely and apparently stops to read an inscription on the pedestal. What'd you find there? There is something written here. It's old Omoan. What's it say? Can you read it? Hard to make out with the rain, but it appears to read. Shagambi teaches us to fight evil with honor. Fight evil with honor. Interesting. Like, well, don't, don't stray too far from the group, but I'm going to go for it. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Is that your turn? That's my turn. Harmony? Okay. Shadow scale? Oh, let me look at the relief, relief a little closer, I guess. Right. Um, it is, as it states, a relief depicting Shigambi, the Kamadan, fighting Nang Nang, the Grung. And you make out there is something written beneath the relief, but you don't speak Old Omuan. I don't read either. <laughs> yeah, you don't read, period. <laughs> oh, um, make make a perception check. Well, okay. Words! No! Alright. No, I'm but... going to... tell... her speak aloud. It seems... there's words here. I think. That'll be better, my turn. And Ushada? She'll move that. That'll be her. And then... I, myself, will move here. And look back at Igris and ask him where Orbex is. Who's <clears throat> uh, reading a plaque outside? When did he say what I've read? The Kamadan person... Thingy, uh, uh, teaches us to fight evil with honor. Well, when he gets him in here, he'll probably read what Shadow Scale found. I told him not to stray too far. Well, we can have you keep an eye on him then. Erd, it is your go. Is that your turn? Uh, I'm gonna look up the pedestal. Uh, you look at the pedestal. Uh, it's four feet high, made of stone. Uh, you look a little closer and realize that there's a little stone hatch on top of it. Use oh, mage hand, grab the hatch. You grab the hatch? Just mage hand. Alright. <laughs> uh, you touch the hatch, and shadow scale, make a perception roll. Damn it. <laughs> oh. Well. Uh, Urge, shadow scale, and Ushad and Professor all make con saves. I told you not to touch it. Yeah. One day I just do. Oh. So, Shadow Scale takes seven poison damage. The rest of you take 14 as gas starts to seemingly appear from nowhere. A green poisonous gas. I immediately begin not to be touching anything. I really just. Oh, it's not Hild guard kind of moves up and looks at what's going on. Sandala, meanwhile, stays way back in a far corner. Ordovex enters the entryway. Igris. Yes. No. Oh. Um. <laughs> I will move up to here, and that is my turn. Harmony. Um. The gas is still being expelled, right? Uh, you don't have any idea. You just know that there's suddenly gas there. So why'd you move towards the gas, Icarus? Not near it. 
because he wasn't paying attention, probably. That was. Well, I currently don't have anything to, like, get rid of it. Do I see... Ugh. Close this. Is the door at least still open? But the door out? Well, yeah, I mean, like, nothing's blocking the way yeah, out. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay where I am and tell the dude behind me what's going on and be ready to <clears> step <throat> out quick if we need to. I wonder if the gas is flammable or oh, no, it's poison. Poison gas. Shadow scale? Be flammable. Well, first, hold my breath. And then second, is the hatch still open? The hatch never opened. Oh, is it just out of touch? Okay. I mean, there's nothing I can really do. So, okay, so retreat back. I'm gonna end my turn. And Ushada? That all she does? Yeah. Alright, is that all you choose to do? Bird. That's my turn. <laughs> and very quickly the gas dissipates. Hildgard takes another step forward and looks around. <clears throat> Please don't try to you for the hatch. I had no intention yeah. to. Sundala takes a few steps forward, but more hesitantly than Hilda. Ordovex is stuck well, he squeezes past Harmony and comes in to look around. Igris. So go right there. Harmony. So what did you say these star things were? They are statues of Chulton warriors, but they appear to be missing their spears. And what's down in the pit? It looks like some kind of gladiatorial pit. There's nothing down there right now. Oh, okay. uh, you can kind of make out that there are two entrances, one here and one here. But they're down there, below you. Shadow scale. Yes, I'll tell the old man about the words that I found over there. He nods and says that he'll go check hey, uh, them out. What are you doing, right? Right? I'm not doing anything. Send him my turn. Well, right what I'm doing. A new shot? She and I are going to stay in these corners. Erd? Right there. We go to move a little closer and look at the relief. And I'll take a few steps up and look at one of these statues. Orbix will make his way up and look and uh, point out it appears to be another telling of the story of Shagambi and Nung Nung. Igris? <sighs> Just gonna walk down and look down the hallway here. Well, you see it goes around. There are cobwebs. It has not been in use for some time and does not appear anyone has explored it recently. Well, I don't... I'm gonna shout back. I don't think your companions have been down this way since there are cobwebs here and they are undisturbed. I didn't think anyone had come down here recently. Yeah. Unless it was a spider. It put the cobwebs back. That is going to be my turn. All right. Harmony. I'll just wait for Shadow Scale to move. Shadow Scale. Okay, I move. Anushara. Anushara will stay where she is. Professor. Double move, squeeze past her. Where are you? Yeah, it'll be a squeeze, so 10 feet to get through his square. And then spiderwebs do anything? No. They're just there. You can easily just knock them down. Keep going. And I guess I will look at you, this. you find more reliefs. Uh, one of them depicts Shigambi seemingly training a number of Chultin warriors. Another one to show. The other one shows Chultin warriors defeating uh, seemingly some kind of opposing army with Shigambi in the background, like <laughs> watching over them. Heard. Yeah. Yeah. Hildgard will move here and wait to see what everybody else does. 
And Nala just kind of moves up and starts looking, not touching, looking at the pedestal. Ordovex continues to look over the relief and read Igris. Uh, we'll just follow these guys down here. I think this just leads down to the pit. Harmony? Uh, I will also just take a closer look at the pedestal, but I'm guessing I don't see anything more than anyone else has. No, not really. That's exciting. That's also my turn. Pedo scale? Uh, I don't really feel like I can do much here. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's my turn. And Ushara? Yes, sir. Professor? So, you see a the entryway into that pit beneath the main shrine. Right. So you just go through? Yeah. Alright. You are down in the pit. And as you enter, a portcullis drops down behind you. A what? Well... A portcullis. This should prove interesting. So, like, the gate to the door? Yes. Well, oh. <laughs> that's such a nice. This is quite the job, Terry, yeah? Well, I mean, he can fly. And you see... You see the bars I had on top of there, right? You see, oh, okay. coming through a gate, what appears to be a stone statue similar to the ones upstairs, come in holding a spear. Well, well good luck. We're all rooting for you. This is gonna hurt. You still have your turn. It is still your turn in initiative. Do what you need Fly! There's no point in flying. I am stuck in here. Uh, I mean, you've got 20 feet up to the bars, so... So it might help you. How much space is between the bars? Uh, the bars are about two feet apart. Only a small creature can slip through. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> However, if I remember this... correctly, you said something about fighting evil with honor. Yeah. So maybe I'm supposed to just watch him die. <laughs> <Yeah>. Thanks. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. <laughs> uh, and it had to be rock. I'm good against rock. This is so gonna hurt, guys. So gonna hurt. We'll fly 20 feet up. And just shoot him as well. Sounds like How you're now is that? in between a rock and a hard place. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> you're fighting the way you would fight. Yeah. True. I would climb the ceiling. Up to the bars. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll fly up. To the very top of the bars. Lay against the bars. You fly up 20 feet. Do you do anything else? Oh, wait. No, I can't do anything else. I dashed into this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm screwed. All right. Erd. You're best to die. You don't even know what happened. You heard a clang as it came down, and you you are essentially looking through the gate, seeing the professor standing on the other side, and what looks like a very small stone golem. <laughs> small stone golem. It has a brass spear in one hand, and a wooden shield in the other. Will you do anything? Got final. Nope, I'm going to watch. All right. <laughs> Hildegard, hearing the noise, comes over and looks down. Sandala also looks down at the professor. Things cause. I think that that might be the spheres we need. Looks like you've found things through dumb luck again. Unfortunately. <sighs> and Ordovex comes over. I do agree. I think that's probably the key to this shrine. Nonetheless, the gladiator steps forward. Please don't hurt me. Watch it grow. <laughs> what is your armor class? Shield. Well, what is it now? It is now a whopping 17. Uh, he hits you once with his spear for 14 damage. Ouch. And then he shield bashes you, but 
your shield protects you from that. This fighting style seems very familiar. Really? <laughs> Captain Schultz. <laughs> Strikes again. Uh, going to go down here. So what you're what saying are these is, things? is, is he's gonna throw his spear. What what are these plaques here? Or... Reliefs. Oh. Yeah, pictures of Shagambi <laughs> training and leading Chultons to victory. Look at look it through. Yeah, you look over Earth's shoulder and you see the professor getting pounded on by a clay statue. Yeah. I'm packing a statue this. with physical attacks. Always <laughs> doing the right thing to do. Anyways, is that uh, your turn? Yeah. Yep. Harmony. I believe in you. You got this. That's, that's all I got. Scale. Um... Oh, it says Clay Gladiator, not Stone. Hmm. That is the default token for these things, sadly. <laughs> Get him, Professor! You got it! I cheered him on. At your turn. Yep. And Ushada. <laughs> Join the spectator. Alright. All right. That makes it your go, Professor. If I disengage, I can still fly up, right? Uh, what type of action is your fly? It's literally just my movement. It has, doesn't say. It doesn't anything. take anything to activate? Yeah, it's, yeah, as far as I know. Then, then yeah. Are you just fly up 20 feet? You fly up 20 feet. Is that your turn? Yeah, since I disengaged. Erd. The Sylvan watch. Hildgard will watch. Sandala will watch. Orvex will watch. You see the gladiator walk up right underneath you and then perpendic like perpendicularly step onto the wall and start walking up the wall. Are you <laughs> son of a... No! <laughs> Just kill it. It walks up to you and proceeds to try and attack you. Uh, shield! Again. Your shield blocks one of its spear attacks, but the second one hits you for 11. Ugh, I'm still in this. And then it proceeds to bash you with its shield. No, I'm not. <laughs> dealing 17 bludgeoning. I am downed. The professor falls to the ground. Laying on the floor. And as he does, the portacullis is open and it walks back. Well. Don't just well. 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 You wanna go next? Or should, I, or should we put some uh, actual fight in your corner there? <laughs> yes, the professor is lying on the ground bleeding down there. It is your go, Igris. The portacullis is open again. So you can go into the gladiator's pit. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I should go in there to get the professor. Should you, though? I should. It's only the right thing to do. Well, You're going to go in? Two of you step in at the same time. I don't think we could do that. Yeah, why not? I don't know. One of them's trying to get crushed by Portmanthus. Yeah. Well, no, if you go, like, if you stand side by side... You know, like facing each other or something and go one, two, three and step out at the same time. Or does that break D&D &D rules and not reality rules? I mean, you could choose to do that. You'd have to hold your actions. Well, do you want to go in there, Erd? I guess. But I mean, if we have to fight honorably two against one, unless it sends out two. <laughs> I will hold my turn until after Erd's. Go ahead. Right. Harmony? Or staff will just jump down the cracks. Yeah, I'll just wait for them to make their move. Shadow well, scale? I was gonna say you don't have any long distance healing. I do, but I'm afraid if I get him up he's just gonna 
walk back. <laughs> up, I guess. back up. True. I'm back in curb stops him before he stands up. <laughs> oh, I thought I put you down. But Shadow Scale, what do you do? Oh uh, man, it's like no one told me about the plan. Hup. You drop down in? <laughs> yep. All right. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> you drop in. If it doesn't close right away, I would throw the professor back out. <laughs> nope. It immediately shuts the moment your feet hit the floor. Clang, clang, clang. Well, but his feet never touched the floor. Great, I'll rage. Oh, you rage? Oh, this is the teleporty. I teleport back outside the thing. <laughs> no! <laughs> do, you, do you teleport? Uh, no. Well, I mean, I Flowers. do tell it. It's five feet in front of me. Just smack okay. it. <laughs> ba, 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 ba. Some great smack in there. Oh, you hit it once. Oh, forgot the turn rage on. Add two extra damage to that. All right. You chip away at the hard, solid surface. Is that your turn? everything I can do. Well, it strikes back. Class it, well, it hits you once with its spear, dealing 10 piercing, and then proceeds to smack you with its shield, dealing 10 bludgeoning. Make a strength saving throw. Are you having your damage? Yep. Okay. I was already hurt when I went in here. Oh, and Ushara? Healing word on the professor. Uh-oh. You're up at 13. All right. That's her. Professor. <sighs> I'm going to drink my critical healing potion. If it's greater, it should be 44. Plus 4. So 14. All right. I'm just going to stand in the corner. All right. Another one steps through. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> And it begins by attacking Shadow Scale. <laughs> Damn However, you, Sam! It's a critical <laughs> smash turn. However, it can't get through your armor with its spear, but it does manage to land a very heavy blow with its shield, dealing 14 <laughs> bludgeoning. Make your strength save. Uh, it knocks you prone to the ground. Erd, you're watching Shadow Scale get beaten there by two now. I am. Uh, the bar is big enough to shoot arrows through? Yeah, you can shoot through, you just have disadvantage because you're trying to aim through bars. Got a lot of shoot arrow through there. I'm pretty confident in my shots. Alright, which one are you aiming at? At least I'm not in the way. I don't know, I can't see. Uh, there's <laughs> one, there's two next to Shadow Scale, I guess. He's gonna shoot it, and a third one will come out so it can sit him a third fighter. There's, <laughs> one, there's one that Shadow Scale already hit, and there's one that hasn't been hit at all. There we go. All right. Yeah, that works. Um, the one that I can see is that one. Yeah, that's the one that you can actually see from your position. Oh, I'm gonna shoot that one. All right, disadvantage. I have it on already. You hit it. You hit it. You have an attack. Use my bow. <laughs> you hit it again. Oh my god. Alright. I can't eat my books twice. You need to watch. Attack. Hild Hildegard simply stands there. I believe in you. You can do it this time. Sandal goes, yeah. Luck. Dumb luck. I believe in it. <laughs> Oryx goes, well, there's two of the spears. I assume there must be two more. Igris. Oh, oh, I could do something, but it might hurt some people. Or you could just heal. As long as not me, I don't care. What was that? <laughs> heal the shadow scale. Yeah, how am I going to heal the shadow don't scale? That. Don't you have cure wounds? Cure wounds is touch. That's touch. You oh, need like healing, healing word. What? Healing word is not an artificer spell to my knowledge. No. It's just the touch. Doesn't want you have a wand of magic missiles? I do. Yeah. Behind me. <laughs> I'd get uh, 
disadvantage on all of them. Well, no, it's a bad auto hit. Yeah, I forgot about <laughs> that. But I can only hit this one here. Yeah. I do have healing spirit. Could scorching ray it. I'll just use. Let's see, there's seven charges. I'll use uh, three charges. So five bolts at this one. All right, roll them. Where'd it go? They're all where they go. Okay, have you used it yet since you've started using roll 20? Or not roll 20, D&D Beyond? Does it yeah. actually? My, my oh. screen just kind of froze up a little bit there. Oh, it still rolls them individually? Yeah. But my... Is it rolling it? It is. It's rolling them each individually, though. How many is that? Because it's not showing up on um, roll Three. 20 for me. Oh, there you, it goes. Four. And you're getting pretty consistent damage. And five. That should be three things. It's the first three. Right? Yeah, 20 damage. Two, four, five. Yep. All right. A bunch of magic missiles come streaking past the bars and hit the one in front of Shadow Scale. Is that your turn? Yep. Harmony. Um. How's your health, Shadow Scale? I'm at 37. I'm okay. doing all right. I'm gonna just reach my hand through the bars and point at this one to do Eldritch Blast. You'll have disadvantage. Why? Because the bars make it hard to maneuver your hand. I thought you said they were two feet across. They are two feet across. You don't have a full range of motion. Sure. Well, you still hit it regardless. But your second one misses. Okay, that's my turn. Shadow scale. Guess all. Take a sippy for one of the potions of greater healing. What bonus action? Mm-hmm. Fourteen. Because of the way you said that, I imagine that you pull out a sippy cup. <laughs> And then I'll keep smacking this bad boy right here. Guess what, da, da, da. Anything else? It's everything I can do. Well, it strikes back. Hitting you once with its spear for 11 damage. And then bashing you over the head with its shield for 9. Make your strength save. You are knocked to the ground again. And Ushada. You still doing the like, max around there? I'm at 40. I feel like there's a line of people just walking. Out of 61. I'm just being eager. It fails. Anything else? Nope, that's her. Uh... Professor. Alright. <laughs> um... No, look at this one down here. Hey, go find me, I can hit that one. Boy, I'm walk to your house. You hit it. What's my, my PC in my hand? Beat you. But your second attack doesn't seem to do anything. Third hits again. Anything else? He is going to continue his onslaught. However, he immediately throws his spear over Shadow Scale's head. Yay! He lands on the other side. We do it! <laughs> However, so he takes his shield in both hands and brings it down edgewise on Shadow Scale. Bonk. It is a trading skill. For 13 bludgeoning damage, make your strength. Oh, you're already down. Mm hmm. Don't say one chip advantage then. Yeah, I forgot about it. Besides, right, he got a crit on you for his shield bash. Erd. Oh, I'm gonna use a bonus action. I'm gonna use my bonus action. Ground with the seals. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hunter's mark. Ah, uh, boo! It's the wing guy. No! 
You want high or low? Oh, I'm no. laying down. <laughs> I'm laying down. <laughs> I'm on the me. ground. He can't you see me. High or low? No. All right. Uh, you're you basically just hit way off, hitting nothing. He's a disadvantage on around and just shot Icarus. <laughs> the fact that you're on the ground. <laughs> While well, being beaten up by a. <laughs> Do I get my second attack then, too? Yeah, you still have your second attack. Oh, gosh. You hit it. Oh, boy. Anything else? Oh, that's it. I kind of rolled two sixes. Hildgard kind of starts pacing back and forth, unable to do anything, being a melee fighter. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sundal is kind of looks down and uh, I suppose we don't want to lose Professor Dumbluck. Fireball. Oh. Fireball <laughs> kills the fireball. You miss a shadow scale. But she misses. No, she just says Faith House of Madness. Odvex watches Igris. <sighs> um, I mean, y'all, y'all are doing good on health, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't look too wounded. Uh, Thirty-three out of sixty-one. Still oh, firebolt! This one here. Fire at disadvantage. Um. Oh no! Last secret. I don't have resistance to that. <laughs> I don't know how do I do disadvantage the first time. Uh, right click, if I recall. Oh. oh, I don't have like that super disadvantage anymore. <laughs> All right. Is that a hit? Yes, it is. And that was a disadvantage. Yes, it rolled was. two. I, I did roll two. You rolled a fifteen and eleven. Yep. Oh. And I got a fifteen for damage. With that, you see its head explode from the firebolt and its spear its body turns to dust and simply pools on the ground but its shield and spear clatter 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 You're welcome harmony okay i so you, what you can roll disadvantage from D, D beyond oh they fixed it they must have anyway because oh. ignis was able to oh it's uh 18 yeah, but if you hover over it, it shows two rolls. Oh, I got 15 and 18. Okay, I'm gonna fire at the other one still standing. Yep. Oh. Disadvantage? Yeah, no, it's still not. Are you... what do you mean? Are you right-clicking on it? Yes. Huh. I wonder why it works for Igris and not you. Yeah, I just hit right-click on the, uh, hit slash DC, you know, number. Well, you miss. But your second one hits. Anything else? No, that's all. Shadow scale. Hey. Get back up. How'd she miss with a 19? As her first was a 12. Oh, oh yeah. Pretty yeah. disadvantage. You hit it once. What is likely seven damage? Anything else? Mm, yeah, that'll be the amateur. And Ushara? Deeds this time. Does she do anything else? No. Professor? I'm sure you'll be a death perk. you Pray that you hit the wall next to it. Yeah. Then it proceeds to attack Shadow Scale, hitting once with the spear, or no, he goes over and picks up the spear. And he hits once with it for eight piercing. And then he bashes you with his shield for eight bludgeoning. Make your strength save. Oh, you don't fall down this time. I'm glad he had a little shield and spear. Third. <laughs> He's my bow session. It's like two walls fighting each other. Two walls fighting each other? <laughs> In the back. 
Well, that's going to be a miss. Again. And you miss again. My turn. Hildegard will continue to pace. <laughs> Sandala. Let's see. <clears throat> Fine. He still manages to miss. Watching Igris. <sighs> Kiss, I will fire bolt again. Disadvantage. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Would you like the high or the low? Um. I don't want to get everyone ahead. Hi ho. So, you hit Erd. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this. Oh, 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 God. I literally imagine he's just like, he reaches out to pass right upon and just smacks him in the back of the head with it. Explodes on his back of the head. 24 damage. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I saw the rolls and I'm like, oh, those are all so, like, they're all almost max. <laughs> I believe that's um, your turn. Yep. Unless uh, you want to run away from Erd. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. You twitched. Oh. Harmony? Pat the back of his head. Yeah, you did. What does Harmony do? I'm... Okay, whatever. Well, that's a miss. And that's a miss. Oh, well, there's my turn. Brings us back to Shadow Scale. You can anything this round. Oh, you hit it once. And I think dog needs to go outside. Give me just a second. All right, I'm back. Uh, Shadow Scale went. So, Enu Shada? He fails. Anything else? No. That brings us to you. He attempts to spear Shadow Scale, hitting her twice for a total of 20 damage. Then immediately turns and strikes the professor with the shield, taking nine bludgeoning. Make your strength save. Yay, my favorite save. Oh. You pass. Really? Erd. Uh, the volley. Hit. Okay. Your second attack misses. I'm done. Well, <clears throat> hmm. What options do we have? Let's try this. <laughs> Hit the professor. Hit the professor. <laughs> He hits the professor. <laughs> I bid everything is rolls. Three. Yeah, she quickly kind of like pulls back from the bars to make it so that you can't see where, like, who was that shot that. <laughs> There's only one person up there who's afraid of frost. <laughs> yeah. The Doesn't know that. <laughs> he watches Igris. Ah, well. Slap another one in the back of his head. Fireball. <laughs> what are the odds he could nap one twice? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I don't well, know. It's Tyler. You miss. But you don't hit Erd. Oh, that's good. Um. Yeah, I. think that's gonna be it. Harmony. Miss and a miss. Shadow scale. You hit, and you hit again. And with that, it suddenly crumbles and turns into so much sand, its weapons clattering to the ground. I suggest we pick up these spears. And the portcullis is open. And let the others touch this. What are you talking about? You've been for round two. 
Y'all that was round, round two. two. I, I mean, we need two round more three. spears and two more shields if we're gonna. So they probably have two more. Well, the statues only need spears. Well, there you go. We need two more. Well, I'll collect the spears. I'm assuming you go upstairs. I'll say you guys can do that out of initiative and gather yourselves back upstairs. Yes. Mm -hmm. As long as nobody steps into the gladiatorial pit, there is not combat. I'll remove these. You went up top. Everybody's going back up top. Yes. But we need more spears, don't we? But yes, but they're putting in place the two that are there and recovering from their battle. Uh -huh. Yeah, I get a cough my head. Oh, you're fine. I took a fireball. Shut up, fireball. <laughs> I want to hear about you. Did you just see the Damn scorch it. mark on the back of his head? But you, well. you fit in place the two brass. They have a brass, right? Or are they bronze? I don't know. They double check. Them. Bronze, not brass. So bronze spears. You put them in place, and now you require two more. But we shall continue this next time.